Sham O'Reilly for Fight Talk. I'm here today in Loughton Club KO with uh, yeah, yeah, Southern yeah, Area yeah, Title yeah. Challenger, Too Slick, Chris Congo. How are you, sir? Challenger or future champion. Challenger, future champion, whatever right. you, you that's, tell me. That's, that's what I'm saying. We have to speak into existence, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you're a future champ. Future champ. Yeah. Listen, I've just seen, I know you did eight rounds of sparring. Mm -hmm. I caught the, the last three with Sam Gilly, um, yeah. you know, fellow welterweight. They were tough rounds, mm -hmm. but before that, you'd done four rounds with James DeGale. Tough rounds. Mate, talk, yeah. talk to me about that. You know what, James, because he wants me to do so well, he, sometimes I see he doesn't hold back. He don't hold back with me, you know what I mean? But that's good, it helps me. And I try to push him as hard as I can. So just try to be as, as slick as possible and just try to move as much as possible, making it hard for him and difficult. But it's all good work for me, and I'm sure it's good work for him because we've been sparring a lot of the, a lot of the time, like in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, it's been great. Yeah, I mean, a, a, you know, former two-time world champion like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that's some real work, isn't it? I mean, it's beautiful, man. You know, you can't get any better work than that. Plus, I'm a world to it, and he's like a super middle, so it's good for me, you know. And he's pushing, pushing himself as well. And you know, what can I say, man? It's, it's not much to say about that. It speaks for itself, yeah. really. You know? If we go back a little bit, obviously this is the first time I've been down here to meet yourself. I've been down here before, but mm -hmm. since you've moved from Brixton, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Miguel's gym, a few yeah. things happened and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me about the process, um, you know, finding a new gym, um, and how you ended up here. Um, basically, I, I thought it was time to move on and just uh, find a new coach. So I had a few in mind, and Shane McGuigan and also Jimmy Mack was my two options really. So. Out of the two, I thought here will be better because with Shane, um, a lot of the stuff is to do with management and stuff and I already have a manager and I'm loyal to him and more time is good because my manager, he's, he does what a manager is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to remove him just because I'm going to go. Is that Mo Pryor? Mo Pryor, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I thought I'll stay with him and just uh, join with Jimmy Mack and it's good because him and Jimmy Mack are in contact all the time and they're always speaking and they know what's the next move so yeah. plus Jimmy Mack has experienced himself and uh, Mo Pryor is also helping out so it's all, it's all good. Yeah obviously while you was in there getting showered after training I sat and spoke with Jimmy Mack for 10-15 minutes and the stories mm -hmm. and the, the experience yeah, yeah, that man yeah, has, yeah, you, yeah. you can't buy it's that crazy. kind of thing. Tell me about it, tell me about do, it. Do you feel that you know obviously you've been in with, you, you sparred a lot of good people you've been in great gyms and stuff mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. when you're in here with James DeGale obviously and Jimmy Mack but you know they've got the experience they've experience. done it at the big yeah, level yeah, does it feel like does it does it rub off on you 100% 100% I feel like I'm getting better and it's not only being here it's when like I would have one of my mates or even my brother he'll come in Sometimes I don't think I'll do too well, but he'll be like, keep it up. This is what you're doing. It's good. Just keep doing it. And you know, sometimes because they can see from the outside, I can't see from the outside. So they can see the improvements. But for me, I just keep doing what I'm doing and the improvements will come naturally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the fight itself, the, the Southern Area title fight on the yeah, 29th yeah, of September. Yeah, 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 so what, yeah. a month away now? Just over four we're, weeks? We're just, just over four weeks. Yeah, so um, yeah, I mean, we've been trying to get this fight for a while. Um, with Lewis Green, I think I was probably six or no, and I wanted to wanted to fight him. He was trying to get a fight, but because I was a mandatory, he didn't want to know. Um, but yeah, now um, we become mandatory, and now um, the time is here, so time to take the title off him, man. Have you seen a lot of him? I know, you, like you said, you wanted to fight him. Mm -hmm. Do you know what he's good at? What you know? Have you, have you studied him? Uh, I just studied two rounds. I don't need to, to look at much. Um, more time. He's a come forward fighter. He's aggressive. Think about it, through all my boxing career, I fought low. I fought every single aggressive fighter there is. So he's pretty much going to be the same as them. And uh, I'm not going to take him lightly. I'm training hard, as you can see. And um, yeah, we're just going to go from there, really. But I'm 100% coming to take that title. Yeah, it's a British Warriors show, which is Mo Pryor's own. Mm -hmm. um, you boxed on, he's on Matchroom. I think he's on Dillian White's card, boxed. is that right? Dillian White's on the card. You see the guy I boxed there. He was tough. Serge Come Bombo, forward. right? No one want to fight him. I fought him. I beat him. That's the main thing. And uh, yeah, all the all the per all the people I've been to distance with, they've all they've all been tough. I fought other tough guys, but they ain't lasted. But I mean, you can never get get a knockout against a person like Serge Ambom or a person like William Warburton. 
them guys are, are, are real tough co opponents, man. So, yeah, I mean, just look at my record, man. You know? Does it matter to you whether you box on the on the big arena shows or like this show in British Royals is actually going to be aired free you know, yeah, on, yeah, on Free yeah. Sports free on Sky? Sport, so yeah, yeah. there's going to be a lot of eyes on it. You know, mm -hmm. does, it, does it matter to you personally that whether it's a, a big arena or if it's York Hall? Does it matter to you? No, nah, I mean I box at O2 like just just before the main event. So what's boxing at York Hall going to do? Obviously, it's always great to be boxing at York Hall. I've boxed there since I was 14. So. Yeah, I mean it's the same it's thing really. Ring. It's just a ring, same outcome as as expected. So you'll see. Um, just finally, are you, you're you're full time now, right? You've full got, time, yeah, yeah. You've got this is a hundred percent dedication 100%, to this sport right now. 100%. Have you got sponsors backing you then? Yeah, of course, of course. I've got Aristone Development, I've got Bagel King, and also Mo Pryor also helps me out sponsorship wise. So yeah, I've got people backing me in that, and that's why I'm able to box uh, full time. Yeah. So I just want to give a big shout out to them guys who I've mentioned, and they're just supporting me all the way. Yeah, definitely, and also yeah. I know how much. They, they believe in you in this gym, you know, Jimmy Mack and all the mm -hmm. guys around, mm -hmm. they've got 100% belief in you're going to the very top, so, yeah, mate, this is only the start of the journey. This is the start, man, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep moving forward from there. Definitely. So. Um, have you still got tickets available? Yeah, tickets will be available on Friday. Check my website, www.chriscongo.com. Um, you can uh, get through to me on Instagram, Twitter, at 2 slick Chris. I'm on there as well, so just give me a shout, man. 100% get involved. I'm going to be there. It's going to be a very good show, and I look yeah, forward yeah, to seeing yeah. you become the new Southern Area Champion. And the new. Chris Congo, thank you very much for talking to Fight Talk. Nice.